G'day viewers. Well, the time has come to announce the winner of my worst photo ever competition. Remember, I put up the worst photo that had ever been taken of me and challenged people to do better. Well, a bunch of people did that, a bunch of votes came in, and the winner is going to receive this lovely one-of-a-kind Mr. Angry apron. So, the popular consensus is none of the photos are as bad as mine, so I get to keep the apron. <laughs> Oh, like I'd do that. Well, to be fair, that is the type of thing I'd do, but in this case, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to announce a winner. Now, there were a lot of great entries, and I've got to say, once again, it took a lot of guts for anyone to enter this competition, and a bunch of people put in awesome photos showing they got guts and a sense of humour. And there was a pretty broad voting spectrum, but an early front runner was Ron. Uh, let me look at my notes. YouTube username 13 Lizard Breath. He of the extraordinarily bad sunburn. But Ron ended up getting eclipsed by Dan, who I'm not 100% sure of the YouTube username. I think I know. Uh, because someone sent a thing in saying it was him, but I do have Dan's real email address, so I'll, I know who it really is, if that makes sense. Uh, and so looking at all the votes and all the photos, I went with what was ultimately the popular vote, and I'm giving first prize, the apron, to Dan. While 13 Lizard Breaths slash Ron's bad sunburn got a lot of attention, I think a lot of people started to say, well, it's not so much a bad photo of him, but a photo of a bad thing he did. And I tend to agree with that, but I think it was a pretty awesome effort. So I'm thinking as a consolation prize to uh, Ron for his sunburn, now that he's sunburned so famous online, or at least within this channel, I'm going to send him one of the I'm Famous Online t-shirts. So, if those two guys send me some information about where I can send those, then I shall do so. Dan gets the apron and Ron gets an I'm Famous Online t-shirt. So that's it for the competition, but I did want to add something quickly while I've got your attention. A while ago, I did a video that I called Do's and Don'ts, where I said there's some things I do and some things I don't do, and... I keep getting asked to do those things I said I don't do, and then I realised because a huge number of people have subscribed since I made that. So I wanted to clarify a few points of things I do and don't do. Yes, people frequently comment, wow, you answer a lot of comments. Yes, I do. Uh, by and large, I try to answer all comments. I actually didn't answer a lot of the comments on the voting for this competition because I didn't want to give away anything that could suggest which way I was leaning towards a winner. But most of the time I do. I don't as often reply to replies. I do it sometimes, but when someone replies to reply I did, I don't reply to that as often because I've already done one and I'm spending most of my goddamn life doing this stuff anyway. One thing I don't do is reply to comments left on my channel page. Uh, you have to be on my friends list to be able to leave a comment there, but when people leave questions, I don't reply. Life's too busy. I usually reply if someone sends me a message through the YouTube message system, but I don't reply to comments left on the channel page, so don't leave questions there that you want answers to, because I don't reply to them. And by the same topic, the angry phone, and I'll throw out the number for the angry phone again, that's for people to call me or send messages to me. I don't call people back and I don't reply to messages on that. I don't text back because the whole point is I don't pay for incoming messages. I do pay for outgoing, and I'm not paying for that phone. I accept incoming on it, so don't send me questions expecting to get answers because I don't do that through the angry phone. And another thing I don't do is watch videos people send me through the YouTube such and such sent you a video system. Uh, before YouTube changed the way the inbox works, I might have watched one in, I don't know, 20 or 50 that people sent in, as, and that was mainly down to who it was who sent it. Most people use that for spam, so I ignore it. But every now and then I'd look at how someone described the video. Now, the way YouTube changed that message system, you have to click on the line to see the description. And honestly, that's just one step too many for me. When I get dozens and dozens of those things, I do not have the fucking time to be clicking through them. So that's gone from about 5% 
iWatch to 0% iWatch. So you may as well not bother to send me videos that way because there's basically no chance I'm going to watch them. Alright, so that's competition over and we've confirmed nobody in history has ever taken a worse photo of themselves than that photo of me. And you should all be very thankful for that. I shall probably run another competition sometime soon. I still have some Your Famous Online t-shirts to give away as prizes. I don't actually have any ideas for competitions though, so I'll be back to making uh, some of the normal sort of videos, which of course means who the hell knows what I'll be doing because it doesn't seem to make rhyme or reason. What do? Does anyone else think this channel has multiple personality disorder? I'll tell you, another thing I don't do is set up multiple channels. I can't wrap my head around that. The funny thing is, the people I know who do that, they have more than one YouTube channel, they have really good reasons for it. They explain it really well. I still can't be asked doing it, which is why you get me being absurdly angry, me doing funny sketches with characters, me messing about with my kids, me and my frustrated nature documentarian stuff, and me and my competitions. A sensible person would split those things up. I never claim to be sensible, I claim to be angry. Sometimes. See you soon.